Now let's do more because uh, prosecute, do not persecute. That's according to President Ekofuado. Uh, his advice to the newly constituted governing board of the Office of the Special Prosecutor. The membership drawn from the police, the economic and organized crime organization, the Attorney General and Auditor General, Anti-Corruption Coalition and others have the ultimate task of ensuring the Special Prosecutor operates with due regard to the rule of law and laid down procedure in carrying out prosecution of public officer and private individual politically exposed found culpable of misappropriating public funds. Inaugurating the board, President Ekufuado said he's hopeful the public sector will be sanitized with the work of the special prosecutor. The composition of the board, in my view, tells us two things. Firstly, your purpose, the fundamental purpose, is to work to ensure the independence of this office. It is a new institution in the law enforcement architecture of our country, as well as in the architecture of our anti-corruption institutional framework. But it is extremely important that the commitment that was made that this would be an office independent of the executive, that is the charge that you are required to keep. But in so doing, your own composition tells you that you have also to be the body that ensures the cooperation of the law enforcement agencies of this country. The Attorney General is represented here. The police service is represented at a very high level. The current Director General of the CID is the representative of the IGP here. And we have high level representatives of the other institutions of the law enforcement uh, world of Ghana. So it is there for ma mandatory on you, not only to guard the independence of the office, but also to ensure the cooperation of the law enforcement agencies with the Office of Special Prosecutor. When you, you foster that cooperation, you're not by that way endangering your own uh, particular functions and, and responsibilities. You're helping the Office of Special Prosecutor achieve the statutory ends that Parliament and the people of Ghana are expecting of, it, of the Office. We do not have to belabor the point that the issue of corruption is one of the major issues in our national discourse. There's not a day when the media and the Ghanaian people in their homes, in the bars, in their offices, are not talking about corruption in our public life. It is that pressure that has brought Parliament to establish this office by statute. So the responsibility is on you to ensure that the public life of our country is sanitized are considerable. But I'm confident that the quality of people that have been assembled on this board, beginning of course with the special prosecutor himself and his deputy and the other members of the board, are such as to give confidence that this very difficult assignment is one that is going to be undertaken in all seriousness, it will be done without fear or favor ill will or malice. Because the body has not been established to be a prosecutorial agency. It's a prosecutorial uh, agency. And that therefore requires that certain cardinal principles of the rule of law are respected by office. Due process. Right, but believe me, you will have my support. In their response, the newly elected board represented by Lindo Furukwafu assured of the commitment to the task ahead. We assure you of our unflinching commitment and dedication to discharge our obligations as stipulated under Section 61 of the OSP Act 2017, Act 959, in the supreme interest of our beloved country, Ghana. God being our help. 
we will contribute to your efforts and the efforts of government to help minimize corruption as we've been doing in our various responsibilities in our various organizations. So let's explore the issues further and joining me on the phone is member of the board on the ticket of the anti-corruption -co coalition, Linda Ofori Kwafo. Good afternoon to you. Many thanks for your time on the polls. Good afternoon and good afternoon to your listeners. And viewers. Well, when is the board meeting to decide on the chairperson? It has not been six years um, at the appropriate time. A board meeting will be held and the chair will be elected as stated in the law. All right. But we're looking at a point where um, the members will, um, you know, come into contact with the uh, prosecutor him special prosecutor himself and i'm asking what point at what point will the board come into the work of martin amidu and his deputy as special prosecutors when you look at the act at 959 the governing body or the board of the office of special prosecutor is supposed not to it's not supposed to be interfering in the day-to-day -day affairs of the work of the, the prosecutor the deputy and the officers that work with him. We have a responsibility stated in the act, and I make reference to that during my remarks at the presidency. It's actually in section 6 1. It's outlined the, what the responsibility of the board would be. So, just like all boards of organizations, we would be having our meetings uh, in due course as stated in the law, not less than a few. Uh, four times in a year, we are going to have our meetings we are going to perform our responsibilities stated in section 6 1 of the OSPF and not interfere in the work of the special prosecutor. All right, so take us through the mandate of the board. Will the board uh, decide on how the office should operate? The board has responsibilities, including formulating policies that are necessary for the achievement of the object. Of the OSP, we know what the OSP is supposed to be doing. So we are supposed to be formulating policies to help the OSP perform that function. We are supposed to ensure the proper and effective performance of the functions of the office. So related to the object, to ensure that the OSP actually works and his team works according to what has been stated in this particular act. We are supposed to advise the special prosecutor on recruitment and selection of secretaries and all those senior staff of the office. We are facilitating the cooperation between the OSP and all the relevant national anti-corruption organizations. If you look at the board setup, we have representation from all the major anti-corruption institutions in the country, from Yoko to Shark to CID, the police service, to civil rights organizations that work on anti-corruption, but the general office, and financial, financial intelligence center and all that we all came together to form the board as the law has stated and it's supposed to ensure that there is cooperation in all the, the uh, among the anti-corruption organizations so we don't have people performing the same rules or anything we, we are supposed to ensure that the OSP gets the support it needs to do the work and also supposed to work in harmony and in cooperation so we can achieve the common objective of fighting corruption and investigating corruption, sanctioning the corrupt and making sure that stolen wealth or stolen assets have been uh, recovered. Obviously, there is some teamwork involved here, but one thing is for sure that the uh, special prosecutor has some level of independence. How independent is the special prosecutor and how uh, is the board uh, supposed to ensure that uh, he enjoys this independence? I think currently the setup of the OSP allows him the independence that he requires. And today, to listen to the president again, that is the concern. But at some meeting, and that is the concern that we have to ensure, not to the president, but with the minister, to ensure that the OSP continues to enjoy the independence. Actually, it's independent, supposed to be independent from the attorney general, independent from the executive, independent even from the board. He's supposed to have the free hand to approach the court. The law says, you know, I work with civil society, and I think my major concern or interest is to ensure that the object of the law, special prosecutor's law, is followed to the latter. And that is what the board is supposed to ensure that this happens. So we're going to work 
with the OSP. The OSP that some day you have to be monitoring or interfering in day to day affairs of the OSP, which issues or which investigations are being conducted, and all those things. So, the OSP is supposed to be independent. Independent who um, thinks a lot of things, but for now, is independent from the key things that are being mentioned. Of. If we get the time, but even financially, it has to be independent to be able to perform its functions without fear or favor. All right. Many thanks to you. Linda Furry Kwafo is a board member of the Special Prosecutor's Office and also the Executive Director at the Ghana Integrity Initiative.